Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy again, back at it. Uh, we're gonna go do the second part of Dean today. Thank you for commenting, thank you for sharing. Uh, we're driving over to our Dean Street renovation. But first I have to, it's hot, I, get, I have to get an ice cold coffee, a big cup of coffee, and then uh, we'll check back in. All right, this is the perfect cup. Double shot of espresso, a splash of oat milk. I got a chocolate croissant. I'm ready to go. Got my coffee, got my espresso. I'm good. I actually sold this house right here. This is one of my, uh, I was on a team that sold this house. Not this one, but the third one in, the brick one, and I believe it's six, 567 Lafayette. It's one of my favorite homes in Brooklyn. That's like a condo, condo finish, but it's in a, like a townhouse, townhouse style. I wonder what people like, brownstones or uh, like brick buildings better. Let's go. As we're back at our Dean Street renovation, part two. Uh, thanks for checking in. Leave comments, subscribe and like below if you like what you see. Uh, this is the brand new facade. Uh, guys, I'm finishing up right now on the paint job. Come on in. All right, we're back here at the Dean Parlor level. I want to see the progress from last week, so let's go talk to Serge, see what he's doing. We're not going to talk to him too long because he's busy, but uh, uh, what do we have here, Serge? Oh, we have a whole lot of kitchen. Whole lot of kitchen. Are you just kind of? Uh, no, no, just putting it in order. Okay. Making sure that everything is in place, and then we're gonna install it today, and tomorrow. Today and tomorrow. You have cabinets. You have cabinets. Just the cabinets. Just the cabinets. Just the cabinets. No, uh, then, no um, ranges or appliances or anything like that yet. Okay. Okay. So we'll probably have to come back and see when this is uh, in progress when they come tomorrow. Tomorrow? tomorrow. Yeah, come tomorrow. All right. Um, so I do see that one of the updates that we had from last week is the, is the door. So let's take a look at that. All right, we have our new double doors in. Um, last week, I think this was just an open space. So we have them painting them in. As you can see, the top there, you have uh, the glass and your, your, um, your double doors, the traditional doors here that were restored. Let's go up here to see the any updates from upstairs. Oh, this should be this should be covered. Not much up here, but we do have uh, the tub that's in. You guys remember last week? This was in here. This was like in the middle of the um, bedroom over there. You see the size of how big this uh, thing is. It's wet. So I'm 6'2". <laughs> if I don't look good in here, we're not going to use it. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be for someone definitely, I'm going to say, actually it's not bad. <laughs> how do I look? Pretty good. I'm pretty tall, so the average person will fit comfortably in here. But I think that I can. Oh, I think I can use it. It's young. I can't break it, or I'll have to buy it. Um, what else is new? Here we have the master bedroom up front, two bedrooms on back, and a common bathroom for these two rooms here. So the vanity is in. This is good. This is important. Little things count. You want the, what do you call it? Screens. You want the screens to make sure that there's no flies, insects. This is a pet peeve when developing. The windows have to match. You've got to make sure that the lock is always even where it can lock and not be uneven where 
you do an inspection, now they come in and try to lock the windows. It looks good, but it doesn't close. So that's key when you're doing little things like this. Having the screens, having the windows, having the shit uh, locked properly. A lot of people kind of uh, underestimate or I would say overlook. One key thing in most uh, of these open spaces, you need, you see how that drops over there? You need a fire barrier just in case there's a fire in the kitchen, which there won't be, but just in case in an emergency, it doesn't travel through the house. So that is cold and that, that you'll see in most of these homes. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Alright, we got a number kitchen wall. Both here, this is a one bedroom apartment. They started to paint on the doors consistent with upstairs. So when we finish the home, not only does the owner duplex get the nice finishes, but also the renovations and the rental are consistent. I love this. From there working on the tile right now, vanities here. Um, good progress on the, this uh, this level. Wonderful. The master painter right there. Thank you. <laughs> I love the music. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. Alright guys, so this pretty much concludes our video. You can kind of take one more look at the, the back of the house. As the guys continue to work. Alright, so again, thanks for tuning in. Um, this one was a lot shorter than last week. We uh, are seeing great progress here. I even think this week, uh, the bulk of it's gonna be done tomorrow and um, and not over the weekend, but to tomorrow or Monday. So part three next week, tune in, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Please share if you can, share with a, a few of your friends and um, come back next week. Thanks again. This is our Dean Street renovation. I'll see you next week.